we're at this one community guys that every time we pass through here we see this little community pond lake whatever you want to call it and i'm going to go ahead and throw the rod in there just to see if we catch anything we get any bites that's what we do i don't know guys y'all do stuff like that i keep two rods in here for uh, special occasions as this oh i don't have anything on this one i'm gonna have to rig it up i'm gonna have to rig this baby up and i'll show you guys what type of rig i use i like to use well what i'm using is a uh, is a loose bait caster and i have a small or portable as well small uh tackle box that i use and i don't have much mostly uh I got a couple of top waters. I use a lot of plastics, plastic worms. So let's go ahead and uh, Texas rig this. And uh, let's see what we could do with this. Let's see, uh, hopefully you guys can see. Well, let me show you what I have real quick. So we got some plastics. Top water, some poppers. Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, just rig it up. Give it a nice little rig up. All right, here we go. Here we go. I don't want to spend too much time on here because I do have the guys on hourly. Uh, got them on the clock, so we're just gonna do this really quick. Very simple. Like I said, I'm using a bait caster for this, and we're gonna do a Texas rig. How many of you guys uh, love to fish? I'm gonna use a, let's see what, a slip weight. If you guys know what a Texas, or if you don't know what a Texas rig is, it's, uh, it's pretty much a weedless, um, type of type of rigging to where mostly used to catch bass and like I said like I mentioned it's weedless meaning you can fish it uh, in grass ground cover lay downs structures and stuff like that so I'm not going to explain the type of notch or anything I'm just gonna I'm trying to do this as, as fast as I can so we get out of there get out of here as quick as I can I just I've always been wanting to stop here let's just see if we got we get some bites last last night me and a friend we went out to a couple of uh, ponds and we had we had some bites small bass there was lots of perch sunfish So let's see what we grab or what we catch today. I mean, of course, if we catch it, I'm going to release it. All right. I like to use either uh, watermelon reds, which is everybody's favorite. So everybody that I go fish with, I don't have any watermelon reds. Or Oh, man. I'm old water a watermelon reds. Those are my favorite. Okay, we'll go ahead and use just... Uh, I don't even know what color this is, but we're going to try it out. It looks like a red. It's not a watermelon red, but it's like a red with some uh, blue flakes in it. So this is a favorite type of rigging is, especially when I'm rigging up plastic, plastic worms, is Texas rig. So that's a Texas rig right there. What makes it weedless is you put the uh, tip of the hook underneath the skin and that keeps it weedless. So you, this can go into rocks, into uh, ground cover, uh, weeds, grass, you name it. 
And these bass are very uh, aggressive type of fish. Territorial. So once they see this kind of um, coming towards their face or their territory, they'll just bite onto this. Then the hook will be exposed and we reel them in. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out. Hopefully, hopefully we catch something. I'm just gonna throw it in there about maybe uh, four or five times. Just give it a shot, give it a shot. Hopefully we get something. All right, who wants to be my cameraman? Baby, we're not bringing home dinner tonight. Hope Mark's got a paycheck waiting for me in the truck. <laughs> yeah, we didn't catch anything, no bites, no nothing, guys. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. But today, uh, we live to fight another day get out of here taking a little lunch break we're here at fuel city pumping some gas getting the guys some uh, pizza the little Caesars didn't know they had the little Caesars here at fuel city and it was funny guys because we were parked behind a car with a Trans Am no kidding after the dude finished was finished pumping gas he takes his big old whiff of the nozzle that was the first time that I ever seen anybody take a whiff from the nozzle after pumping gas. I, it was crazy. I wish I could have taken out the camera to record that, but I, I, I didn't do it fast enough. There's a baby right here taking a slice. Yeah, buddy. That's how we do. That's how we do. Take a little. Try this out. It's on point. Little Caesars pizza is very cheesy. Pepperonis uh, are on point, a little spicy. Cheese is good. The bread is a little, maybe too doughy for my taste. But it'll work. All right, we've already done a couple of commercial properties, but we're at our last residential property. You guys have seen this. We've done the tree where we uh, knock out those branches. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We've got Mark right here. We've got baby in the backyard weed eating edging I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna sit down on this one or sit out on this property it's pretty easy it's just a two-man person will be able to knock it out pretty simple very easy okay hopefully baby will knock out them uh, crack weeds we'll see I'm not gonna say anything we're just gonna we're gonna follow him and see if he's if he remembers to get those crack weeds there's a backyard. Yeah, buddy. That's my boy. He remembered. He remembered. So all we're gonna do is just blow off the back porch, front yard, and it's on like Donkey Kong, fellas. This is one of my first customers that I ever had. Actually, it was the first customer. And I'll tell you how we got this customer. We actually, okay, they got that. We actually knocked on the door and just asked if they wanted lawn service. It was that easy. 
it was funny because when we first, <laughs> I don't know if we scared him or what, but when we knocked, he was like, what do y'all want? What do y'all want? I'm like, whoa, we just wanted to see if you wanted your lawn mode, if you wanted lawn service. We just were a company, we just started. Turn out, he's a really cool guy, really awesome dude. Um, awesome paying customer. We're always doing shrub work for him, flower bed work for him. Really cool guy. Let me get over here so we don't get dust and debris. Very cool guy, very awesome. I think his dad was a uh, Major League Baseball umpire. So that's pretty, pretty neat. Probably my best customer by far. Do you guys have a customer that that is always that's cool with y'all? I mean, he gives us he'll he'll give me bonuses for Christmas and uh, you know when holidays roll around, he gives me gifts and stuff. He, he's just a real cool guy. Him and his family are awesome, awesome, awesome people. But that's what we got going on, guys. I think uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. I'll give y'all a little bit more footage. Okay, I'm gonna let you see this. Let's see if he blows it. Okay, he got it, he got it. <laughs> squirrel done got in your truck, right? Look at that. Must have been that squirrel we saw when we pulled up. <laughs> It's a good tool, bro. Oh, really? Look at that. Nice and clean. I know, guys. I was uh, I was munching on these pistachios, man. These are a wonderful snack. Keeps you full. Keeps you from eating uh, candy, sweets, junk food, and whatnot. So, uh, hey, man. Shout out to my guys. They're awesome. They're doing they're banging this out man especially mark coming coming back uh after a whole week of just being sick he's a beast man he's he's out here busting tail baby of course he's he's wonderful he's busting tail as well and uh man we've been we've been just rocking and rolling these past two days and i think this week is gonna be awesome uh even though we're gonna get 100 degree weather uh, temperatures from tomorrow and for the rest of the week. But you know what, it's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a good week, it's gonna be awesome. We have uh, we have the big, bigger yards tomorrow on Thursday, then Friday we, we're gonna do shrub trim and a flower bed cleanup. So guys, stay tuned. Please subscribe, please like, please share. And there's Mark. In his underwear, on his face, it looked like an underwear, man. Is it, was that a thong, bro? Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Ignore it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. Smoking with Mark. Smoking with Mark. Smoking with Mark. And then baby's in the back, smoking it up too. I think. Now he's getting a water. Oh, he's getting the water. All right, guys. Please like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.